Well, today is second succession planting in the greenhouse, the carport greenhouse here. I came by earlier today and I pulled up all the spinach that was already cut three times. And I pulled out the rest of the radishes because they're all going kind of woody. I just need to finish these guys. I will be planting peppers in here, lots of tomatoes in here. And I think I'm gonna have some more room here as well for a few other things. We'll see what I get to at that point. As well, I'm gonna to have to cut this lettuce probably tomorrow for the last cutting of that lettuce. And then have that sold up. And I've been putting in my cucumbers already along the edges there, but I'll have to finish putting more cucumbers in along where the mustard greens are. Got more down there. And then we'll get those guys rocking pretty quick. They did really well in here last year, the cucumbers, so I'm gonna do them again but I'll probably have to compost a lot of it. Once I get the rest of it out, just give a nice big heavy feeding compost. And same thing goes with the peppers. So I'm gonna finish getting this done up here and get her raked out. I was actually gonna leave all the bits and bobs in here, but there are a whole bunch of weeds in here that when I was here earlier, so I want to get everything out so I don't have those extra weeds in there. I just want to kind of just clean it up so it's kind of nice and clean. Maybe nice for the compost, all this extra stuff here. And I came by earlier on actually with my stirrup pole here, which is nice. It just cuts things nice and easy here. Get right to the roots. This year I'm trying some new varieties. I'm trying a uh, purple beauty pepper. And I am trying a uh, chocolate beauty pepper. And I am trying, what else do I have here? I think those are the two new ones I'm trying this year. And then the rest are just random bell peppers. So this year, like I, uh, I've been using lots of glacial rock dust. I'm going to go too wide here with my peppers. I planted some the other day, but the frost caught them. Just sad because some of them already had peppers growing on them. A little sad. Those three days of hard frost really took a hit out here. I'm going to make sure I put all the purple beauties together. All the chocolate beauties together so I remember what's what. But in reality for me they never really get fully ripened out here. Which is sad. You usually just end up picking them when they're green. So each hole, a little bit of glacial rock dust. We'll do purple, purple beauties at the far end here. Nice roots. And with your peppers as well, you can top them off if you want. I'll top one or two here. So what happens when you top, the, top them off here, they should get bushier as opposed to going really tall. There's the purple beauties there. Next onto the chocolate beauties. You can tell all the grass is still coming in from the side there. I'm gonna plant them a little closer. So I can really pack them in here. I want to try to get as much uh, in my greenhouse here as possible. Because I have a lot of tomatoes, like I said, this year. So I need to get them all in. Here's the chocolate beauties here. Oh, here's another one. Okay, the last ones here are just regular bell peppers. And these chocolate beauty here. Okay, next I'm gonna grab some water quickly and just water them all in here and we'll move down to the next one. I'll come back with some compost later and top it up with compost as well. I just wanna try to get them in the ground right now just because it's already June 4th. 
And I want to get these bad boys going. So it's really easy to transplant these guys, just fast and easy. If you want, you can always add your compost on the bottom to your amendments. Okay, we'll move down to the next spot. There's another one here too that got hit by the frost. I might actually leave him. It looks like he's got some leaves growing back already. So we'll see how that guy fares up. I might just put some in between as well. Why not? Just load them up. See how well they do with the little bit of extras in between. I like to experiment to see how well it's gonna work. As well, you're creating little microclimates in between all these little plants here too. So it's good to experiment. So you can figure out what will work for next year and what won't. These ones are just regular bell peppers, probably red, yellow, or green. The package of seeds is kind of mixed. This one, that two one. All right. All right, I've got a few more in the big greenhouse. I have to go grab. Be right back. I think this one here might be a habanero. And this one's got some peppers forming already on it, which is pretty awesome. We'll get him in. Did the rock dust for those guys. Oh, I've got one more here. I'll plant him in a minute. All right, fast and easy like that. Next, I'm gonna get this ready for some tomatoes quickly and then get lots planted. Got some Epsom salts here as well. Tomatoes like the Epsom salt, magnesium from them. Put a little bit in there. Some tomato steaks here as well, I'll pop in. And we'll get some water and water them in quickly. All right, I'll make my way down here and get the rest planted in. I'll do basil in between as well. Good companion plant with tomatoes. 